who designed the rules, who adjusted the rules. If you look at the history of the world, you know, ideas don't just win. Good ideas don't just win, or bad ideas don't just win. It's it depends on power. Okay, ideas need power to spread. As as China has become more powerful, it's going to be able to spread its interpretation of the rules. That interpretation of the rules. Will benefit China just as our interpretation of the rules after World War II benefited us. Okay, and what I what I think is going to happen though is that we're going to enter a kind of two rule world. Okay, that is for the most part after World War II, if we just use trade for example, well the rules of trade were pretty much set, you know, by the Bretton Woods, you know, agreements, and those agreements were really set largely by America, and it's it's. What it thought was right and、yeah. what it thought was in its interest. I see a world now developing where there's going to be a kind of Chinese rule world in terms of technology, and an America rule world in terms, at least, of technology,、um, if not other things. And we're going to have to find a way for these two worlds to coexist,、um, to overlap, to integrate. But there's no question way that America is not going to submit to China's rules on things. China is powerful enough not to submit to America's rules on things, and therefore, most likely, we're going to go to a world defined by a kind of Chinese rule space and an American rule space. Countries are going to have to choose between the two to some degree, and to some degree, we're going to have to find a way to make them work together. So, is it fair to fear Americans out of their place and see with China? It's a very good question because I'm guilty of that. Um, uh, I, I often use China,、um, uh, not in a、um, in any kind of racist way, but I will say to Americans the following: When I am in China, it takes me four hours and eleven minutes to take the bullet train from Shanghai to Beijing. Yeah. When I'm in America, it takes me nineteen hours and twenty-one minutes to take our bullet train from New York to Chicago, and it's shorter. And what I am, what I, where I use China as as a threat, not the that China is going to come over here and take your, you know, city over or whatever. And what I'm trying to tell Americans is that we have become, in many ways, fat, dumb, and lazy, and that we、um, uh, are now living in a globalized world where、um, the difference between the energy and aspirations of a country like China. And, and energy and aspirations of America will really start to matter. I famously wrote, you know, way a long time ago that、yeah. when I was growing up back in the fifties, my parents used to say to me, "Tom, finish your dinner. People in China are starving."、Yeah. I told my girls, "Girls, finish your homework because people in China are starving for your job." Okay, I remember so, that quote、so、very well. <laughs> there's a lot that I admire. About China's energy focus,、um, uh, what it's done to build infrastructure and lift its people out of poverty. There are many things I don't admire and have written about, and、uh, and and I've tried to be to, to show that that there's a mix of these two things. If you just say, "Oh, China got rich by cheating," that's actually not true.、Mm. It's actually not true. China got rich by hard work, saving, a smart investment, and by I think breaking rules. Okay. Um, but if we don't recognize why China got from poverty to middle income faster than any country, that it was also hard work, focus, smart investments, experimentation, then we are going to fall behind as a country. And right now, wait, there's a reason. You know, we're talking before the show started. Why am I writing about America? I'm not worried about China. I'm not thinking about China. I'm thinking right now about my own country, and my. And I'm not saying this. For your audience to, you know, to make them feel good, I'm saying it to make me feel bad. America isn't right, right in that way. My country is not right, and that's what's worrying me right now. And some of that non-right comes out in in、um, uh, in attacks on Asian Americans,、mm -hmm. you know. But most of all, my country's not right. Our democracy isn't working the way it needs to. And that's my concern. That's my biggest concern right now.、Mm.